So how do you find the inverse of a function? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and we're here to answer that question. Now, before we start, it's important that you understand how an inverse of a function works. Now, the inverse sounds like reverse, and that's exactly what the inverse of a function does, and that it changes the operations. In fact, it's the exact operations of what the original function will do. So we're going to go over the process real quickly, and we'll do a quick example and to give you a glimpse as to how an inverse of a function uh, works. So first of all, if the function is not already doing this for you, replace f of x with y. So in other words, y and f of x are interchangeable. So if you see a function in f of x form, just replace it with y. Now here's the most important step of them all. Switch places between x and y. That means for every x, replace it with y. And for every y, replace it with x. So x and y literally do trade places here. That's the very most important part. Because once you switch places between x and y, you need to solve for y. In other words, you need to get y by itself. Uh, solve it, solve the equation, and solve for y. And last but not least, you need to replace y with the f inverse of x. That's what the inverse function, f negative 1 of x. That's the inverse function notation. So here's an illustration for you. Suppose you want to find out the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, again, we're going to follow the steps that we just mentioned. First, replace f of x with y is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, here's the most important part. For every x and y, you switch places. In other words, for every x, put y there. And for every y, put x. So your new equation is going to be x is equal to 3y plus 1. Now is the time to solve for y, get y by itself. So first of all, subtract 1. So you have x minus 1 is equal to 3y. And then to get y by itself, just go ahead and divide by 3. So you will get, as a result, y is equal to x minus 1 over 3. And then the last step, replace y with the inverse function. But let me just go ahead and write it so that the inverse function notation is on the left side, since that's what most people are used to seeing. So you have f inverse of x is equal to x minus 1 over 3. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an example as to how you find the inverse of a function.